Uh, next, we'll go with Graham. Please give Graham a huge round of applause. There you go, there's your microphone. Thanks, Z. So Graham's one of these guys that doesn't really know how well he's done. And sometimes I have to remind him of, oh, I've not really done much on VIP, except he's just flipping houses and there's money sat in the bank that he doesn't know what to do with and all that kind of stuff. I was like, do you remember that? And he set up this amazing business that he's got globally with his family who are very involved. And um, so you were even thinking about not wanting to sit on the sofa, weren't you? because you weren't sure if what you'd done was maybe uh, worthy of it. But I really thought it was, because I think it's fair to say, Graham, you've got other ven ven benefits of VIP in addition to just buying property. Is that fair to say? Yes, very fair. Okay, so why don't you tell us, first of all, some results you've got on VIP. And you can talk about anything, whether it's business or flips or whether it's mental and mindset or whatever. Over to you. Um, where it was on, I started uh, with Progressive May last year. Renewal time then? Yeah. <laughs> and it was that. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got to have a go, haven't I? Will, I? I, will, I will join again. You will? Um, I will, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so I started off in M Soppy last year, and I'd actually, I actually live in Antigua, and that's where my business is. I've been out there for 11 years, and I'd done a few property courses, not with Progressive, but I'd got a lot of education um, before. And what I was looking for was um, that mentorship and that accountability, and so I was going online and looking for networking events and came across PPN in Bournemouth, so I went along to that with my dad, and dad entered a charity draw and won tickets to the MSOPI, so we came up to that, and I'd, with the knowledge I'd already had in Antigua, there was an opportunity to come up to buy some villas for low market value. I didn't have the money to purchase them, but I realised it was a good deal, and it was actually on MSOPI, um, it was what I was learning from stage, I actually got my sister who was still in Antigua, I was telling her what I was learning on stage, and she made an advert up, um, it's just on a bit of paper, so we've got these villas to sell, um, and she put the advert up and we got about 10 inquiries for these villas, and we actually sold them before we owned them, and we made $145,000, wow. and that was on the weekend at MSOPI. MSOPI, in case you don't know, is multiple streams of property <coughs> income, it's what our three-day uh, flagship property event. So you were selling houses before you even owned them? Yes. Yeah, you didn't think no, you were no, credible never, enough for the orange sofa. <laughs> yeah, didn't, never own them. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else you've done on VIP? Yeah, so February this year went out to the Cayman. Um, it was something that Dad and I said we'd do in about three years' time. We didn't think it was something to do yet, but we got the offer to go. And because we've got the business as well... Um, and your business is? Uh, we run a swimming school here in the UK and out in Antigua. We run a sports school, we teach kids to play football, to swim, run a daycare and nursery. Um, and the, the swimming business in the UK were actually franchising. Um, so we decided for the Cayman, we wanted to discuss the business and property. So my mum, who ran the business within the UK, she came out to the Cayman and we discussed all our business over there. Mm -hmm. um, we actually, with the business in Antigua, what we were doing, we had a property deal where we were going to, uh, it was a rent to buy um, deal. But what happened was the vendor pulled out the day we were meant to complete. So the, business plan we put together in the Cayman, we actually, the week after we came back, we actually ripped it up. And since then, Rob's been amazing. He's helped us put together the business plan again. We've discussed other different strategies. And what we're doing now is all the marketing online with the franchising. And in the last three weeks, we've had 14 inquiries for our franchises. All and how, how much is your franchise? 35,000. And then we've put together the presentation. We've got all the sales process, which, well, we're going on the course in July. It's a six-day course, and Rob gave it to us in an hour. Um, the, and we put this presentation together because we've got an open day coming up in the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. before we go on the course. So, Sure. Okay. Uh, I've got some notes on you here, and it looks like you've uh, nailed a, a big HMO. Do you want to talk to us about that? Yeah, so as Rob was saying, there was, uh, there was times during the year that I was thinking I wasn't getting anywhere, and I was getting really frustrated. I was watching all the other people in the community and how successful they were. And I thought I was doing everything that was being told, and I was getting really frustrated. And Rob kept on saying, just keep doing the basics, keep doing it. So he did. And I came across this property. It was an old nursing home. It's a 14-bedroom <coughs> nursing home. And I looked at it. I went to somebody, and they said, it's not, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. And so I went, I met with Steve, who was in the Cayman with me, and I thought, I'll show it to Steve, because I know he does HMOs. And we looked at it. Steve came and viewed it with us, and he says, yes, it's a goer. And so we're JVing on that, and that's going to bring in about £1,300 a month. Cool. And how does that feel, doing that deal, knowing that, you know, you had 
I didn't think you were having rocky months. I knew you were doing the right thing. I knew you were, people would trust you. Obviously, I'd been down to Bournemouth to do the, the speech and I've known you guys for a while. But um, why do you think it came together? Perseverance, um, trusting that everything will come together at some point if you keep doing, uh, well, it was the community really, watching everyone else's success, going on the Facebook page every day and reading everyone else's success stories and seeing, and month after month coming back and seeing what people had done in the month, they just it amazed you with the success they'd had and you think if they can do it, then I can do it. Sure, and you did a lot of this, didn't you, while you were living in Antigua? Yeah, so when I started, I was doing sick, I was literally, Coming to VIP, I was flying back to Antigua the next day, and then I was landing on the morning of VIP and coming straight yeah. up. So when so people say they can't afford to do VIP or it's 60 miles, I can't travel yeah, there, it, what it, do you think about that? It's a nine hour flight and a three hour drive from Gatwick, so. Yeah. And how many have you missed in 12 months? One, and it wasn't because I couldn't, my grand passed away, so it was, really mm. was life and death, so. But other than that, you made every single one. Everyone, yet. Yeah, your um, parents must be very proud. I'm very proud. <laughs> You're getting videoed by your mum there. That's going to go viral. <laughs> oh my son! <laughs> so, what would you say to anyone on VIP? Because we're always honest about how it rolls. You're not going to have 12 months going like that. It's going to go like that. So, even some of you in the room are on VIP. Some of you will be flying, but some of you will be looking for quicker results. What would you say to your fellow VIP members? Give them any advice, because you've gone loads of travel, you know. I mean, I always had faith in you, and I was just, my job, I, I felt, was just to keep you doing what you were doing. But what advice would you give any VIP member who's maybe having a bit of a bump? Keep going, ask lots of questions, speak to your mentors all the time. I mean, Rob, we've, every time we've emailed Rob, he's People think we straight. at Progressive send a lot of emails out. You should see how many <laughs> the Swattons send to me. <laughs> Yeah, you got your own PA, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, ask your mentors. They do know their stuff. And put it out on the community as well. The community is an amazing place. The amount of knowledge that's out there is unbelievable. Great. Does anyone have a question for Graham? Yeah, yeah his mum does. Could we have the microphone, please? <laughs> With the villas that you actually bought and sold in Antigua before you owned them. Um, how did you actually advertise those villas? Where was it that you actually advertised them? On a bit of paper in the supermarket. <laughs> it was literally That's called Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> it was before I'd met Mark Hansen. Um, <laughs> and it was literally just a A4 piece of paper with a really bad photo of the outside of the house that we'd taken on an iPhone. And it was a number you could rip it off. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we got 10, 10 inquiries in about Two hours. And you, you actually haven't talked about the, uh, those, that, those repos that you've got that you're negotiating with as well, have you, at the moment? Yeah, so there was uh, 18, where we live in Antigua. I won't say the name of the place because I don't want to give it away because it's a good gold mine area. Because <laughs> everyone's going to go there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, was, I, I was speaking to the estate agent who, who it was funny how it happened because the estate agent, I, rang, I was asking about house for the business because we wanted to get our own property and he said I'll oh, try these villas and I'd been looking at the villas for a long time um, and there was they're all quite high and he said this one's only a hundred and fifty thousand and I thought oh, that doesn't work and then I, he said well put a, put a lower offer in so we put in an offer for a hundred thousand and he said well the one next door is going as well and I thought well, I don't have the money to buy one how am I gonna buy two and he said well put the offer in for both and I did and then as I said just being on M Soppy, I've figured out how we could actually do it. So you just sit if you, straight if you, if on. The, if the deal is there, you'll make it happen. Sure. It's just having faith in the process. Please give Graham a huge round of applause. Thank you, Graham. Take your seat. Thank you very much.